I love nothing more than when someone says, this gift wrap is so beautiful, I don't even want to open my present. That's like a double score. Not only have I given an awesome gift, but the gift wrap itself feels like a gift too. That's amazing. The trouble is, is that nowadays there is so much inspiration out there. There's DIY wrapping paper, DIY bows, and on and on. There's Pinterest, it's Tumblr, it's Instagram. It's insane how much pressure there is. I don't know about you, but at the holidays, I don't have an extra 80 hours in my week to sit at night and make my own wrapping paper. I need to get this done, but I still want to give gorgeous gifts, and maybe you do too. So today, I'm going to show you some quick and easy ways to make your gifts beautiful, and I even have a little field trip plan. Before I get started, I always think through about my color scheme. A lot of times, I pick up wrapping paper at many different shops. Another thing that I do is I try to collect all of my things. So ribbons, glitter, twines, I kind of know my color scheme. So I just grab a tray or a basket, whatever it is, and I just start bringing all those things together. I found this uh, metal kind of stuff at the craft store. I don't even know what it really is, but it's super cool. And I really love to use these sort of elements on my gifts. I'm just gonna tie this ribbon around. Don't forget to trim your edges and make them gorgeous. And then I've got a tag that's already ready to go and I'll show you how I made this in just a minute. But it is so simple and that gift is ready to go. So for this gift, I am using this super cool, like, I don't even know what this is. It's like confetti all taped together. I got it from a really cool Etsy shop and I'll definitely link to it on the blog for you. Next, going to take a little ribbon. So I'm using this beautiful bell. It's from George Jensen, which is this beautiful Danish design company and they make the prettiest things. And my son just fell in love with the little bell. And I always knew where he was in the store because I could hear him jingling the bell all throughout the store. And the present is now on the outside. So to this one, you could just simply wrap this around. These boxes are so much fun. This could be a tin as well, just something that's really pretty. Use a great container. And then just wrap it around a few times and then just tie. You can tie a bow with it. You could add the tag here. Um, all of these things are things that I've just simply found along the way at the craft store. So definitely keep your eye out. You never know some of the things that you'll find that are just unusual and they just look really awesome on a present. Before I get started wrapping this present, I'm going to make a really quick and easy tag. If you just have an extra minute, this is literally one of the simplest ideas. So I'm using the super sticky tape and I've just added a little bit to the base. I put a piece of white paper down simply because this can be a little bit messy. But this is Perlex, and if you add it to the sticky tape, it makes this really beautiful little accent. And that literally only took like a second to do. Since I'm going with a bit of a glamorous, kind of elegant theme this year, I'm using this twine that's got a bit of a gold fleck in it. Spread all this out, and there's another gift all ready to go. To make this gift tag, we are basically going to do the same thing. We're just going to put that super sticky tape on the bottom. I'm taking VersaFine ink, and this one's going to be for Haley, so I'm going to get the H. Um, then on that super sticky tape, I'm taking these little glitter kind of stars and just pressing them in. Oh, <laughs> I forgot to take the outside off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you might want to take the backing off, otherwise nothing will stick and you might feel totally panicked as to why this isn't working. But if you do take the backing off, look at how simple that is. I've got one more present to wrap for Haley right now. So I'm just going to take this big, gorgeous, thick satin ribbon and tie it on. Okay, for this quick little tag, again, I'm just going to use that super sticky tape. So simple to make your own tags. It will literally just take a second to add the tube from. 
and I'm just gonna pull that super sticky tape off and then just pour glitter over it. And just tap it off and it's ready to go. But I found this super cute, how adorable is this? This little furry keychain. And I know my daughter Haley will love clipping this to her bag. So I'm actually just gonna clip this on and just using little creative ideas like this to make the gift extra special is so fun. And it just really elevates the gift. We are in the car and headed to one of my favorite places. My girlfriend just introduced me to this place and I just have to show it to you. I think you'll find it super inspiring and we need to get a few things to use for our gift wrap. So we're in Charlotte and Lund at Rosenstown and this is the most amazing florist and shop. It's just on the outside of Copenhagen city center, but it is so worth the trip. This place is amazing. It smells good. Everything's gorgeous. It is so inspiring to come somewhere like this and just walk around, get great ideas. And of course, buy a few things here and there. <laughs> Look at these tags. These are by Tina K Home. Tina K is the daughter of the owner of this shop. So lots of the Tina K Home products, they're just gorgeous. Everything they do is beautiful. I think these will be perfect on the gift and this will definitely make gift wrapping much faster. Look at these beautiful ribbons. There's this thick velvet. Isn't that stunning? And it comes in two widths, so I'm gonna get a little bit of both. Let's see what else I can find. That is so beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> it's like perfection, just like that. <laughs> okay, so I am in total bliss but I've got some great stuff and let's go back home because we've got a little bit more wrapping to do. We are back in the studio and I cannot wait to use all of these little treats that I found at the florist slash beautiful boutique to finish wrapping these gorgeous presents. I chose this wrapping paper because it has an art deco kind of look, which I really, really loved. And we're just gonna wrap this ribbon around. I bought this little mirror. It's a little ornament and I know that my son will absolutely love it because he's super sentimental and he just likes these sort of little things. So I'm just gonna use a Sharpie. And since it's a mirror, it'll come off if he wants to take that off, but if not, it'll be super pretty on here. I absolutely love adding fresh greens into a gift. I think that it just adds such a beautiful little touch to any gift. And then I'm gonna add the little piece in there. For this gorgeous present, we are just tying this twill ribbon and this gorgeous, gorgeous green color. And I'm just going to thread one of these adorable little paper ornaments in. So we could just leave it like this and that's gorgeous. You could even just pop in a little tag, right? Stunning. But I think that if we add a little bit of this greenery, Gonna kind of pull some of these bottom ones off. Adding just this little bit of greenery in here just oh makes it so so stunning. How beautiful is that? Since this gift is a little bit bigger, we're gonna use this nice big fat, gorgeous green velvet. The great thing about a store-bought little card is that you can add a little message inside and really make this a special gift. I think we may just have to add another sprig of this greenery because I think that that would just make it extra, extra gorgeous. I really love when I can save time with my projects by using things that are store-bought. So for this one, we're gonna use this beautiful sparkly little bow, which is store-bought. How pretty this is all put together like this. And if I want to, I can just add a little sprig, a little sprig of greenery. And I mean, seriously, what neighbor isn't going to love getting their cookies delivered like that? I hope today has encouraged you to make your presents beautiful this holiday season. Just remember, a few supplies mixed up in a special way can make all of your gifts completely awesome. Whether they're store-bought or DIY'd, it doesn't matter. Just enjoy the holiday season.
We hope that you'll join us at houseofvalentina.com. We'll have all the details there from the video, links, and of course, photos. But don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel because we hope to stay in touch. We'll see you soon. Bye. Thank you.